What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B High Radio. Shout in, stepping in the building. I got a friend and family member of the show, comedian K Dub. What's good with it, my dog? What's happening? Man, feeling good, feeling great in this thing, it. Dub. I mean, I see you out here working all over the place from set to set to set. Departments yeah. too going crazy. I mean, talk to me, boss. Hey, they ain't yeah, going crazy. We didn't shot no. It's over. Uh, we shot that. They editing that now. Okay. Problem is two. Okay. Of course, you know one already ready. Uh-huh. Y'all can go check that one out. That's right. And we writing three. Woo. We writing three. Bar three. I mean, talk to me about this independent film game, though, man. What is it like putting it down for the town out there, man? Mm, I can tell you this. It's a it, it, it's a relief because you ain't I ain't got to go audition and do all that. Come on, I man. I can just jump, and they like really. It's a I different can, world. Once I leave this, I can go somewhere and jump right in, right in Steven Spielberg movie. Because exactly. I'm learning what blocking is. I'm learning yeah. what small <laughs> is. I'm learning what points is. Points, yeah. points. I'm learning all that. I ain't never know none of that. Oh my god! Because I'm a stand up comedian, but I'm learning a lot. I mean, being on them sets. Nah, I'm going to get straight to it, though, Doug, because you know you went viral earlier this week getting into it with Drew at the Breakfast Club, man. Man, yeah. Why yeah. did y'all boys go all the way up there to New York to cut up, man? No, no, we didn't go all the way up to New York to cut up. We, I went up there to do the Breakfast Club to promote City Winery. Ah. Uh, I think Drew went up there to promote the Kirk Franklin album. Yeah, that's the right. The Kirk Franklin record. That's but right. I don't know nothing about that. Okay, okay. I only took with you like, <laughs> you go, we going to go up on the jet the day before. Yeah. I was supposed to be in the class reunion. Uh, down there with my class. Yeah. But he told me I had to cancel my flight out of Memphis mm. to New York. So I caught the jet from Atlanta to New York on Friday instead mm. of catching it out of Memphis on Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a mix up. Some in, it was some incompetence, with, incompetence within the. Yeah. If somebody ain't tell, somebody told this person to tell Shawty that we ain't got to be there. Yeah. Not we, as in like me or whoever the ha-ha mafia is. Yeah. Because to go do the Breakfast Club on Friday and promote for City Winery on Saturday and Sunday yeah. will be great. But the fact that Breakfast Club don't come on to Monday, uh, we don't need to be there. Yeah. yeah. And the incompetence, that person didn't tell Shawty for Shawty to tell us, because I done went to my class reunion that I had already paid for. Uh, I, had, I had got an oil change and everything <laughs> to shoot down to Memphis. Yeah. To go down to Mississippi. That's right. And then come back up from Mississippi, go to Memphis, and fly out that thing. Yeah, yeah. Class reunion down in Mississippi, 24 year East Side High School. Talk to me. Did, did? Did and you? I missed it. That's what I'm upset about. These folks in the comment don't realize I'm the one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one hurt didn't make McClare reunion. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a big thing, though. I mean, were y'all able to just get everything back together, though, as a family after everything was Man, going yeah, on? Yeah, just make a show. Yeah. Thing happened at 9.23. We yeah. were back cool at 10.23. Okay, okay. Friday. Exactly. Whatever Friday was, what, the 11th or something? That's right. Yeah, on that day. Now, when it comes to the comedy, though, K-Dub, with the stand-up and everything that we got going on now, man. Where are we at with it with that? Stand-up? Yeah. Now, where I'm at with stand-up, I'm at the top of the stand-up world. Yes, they'll know later on, but just me being in the game looking, it's exactly. almost like if I ask a football player who the best player, they're going to tell me. That's right. They're going to be like, no, nah, little Norton Wilson. And I'm like, yeah. I ain't never heard of him. They're like, no, he a dog. <laughs> you better go check him out. You feel me? But yeah. I'm thinking it still might be whoever I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, stand-up, I'm at the top of that. Okay. Literally, even if it's just self-proclaimed, I'm at the top of that, whether it be roasting or writing, just yeah. great jokes. Yeah. You know, kicking ass and stand-up. But with the uh, movies, that's mm. a whole nother thing. So how do you feel about this whole movie thing, man? I, I mean, getting it. into it and getting your act on at the same time. I love it. It's a rush to wait. Okay. It's a big rush to wait. Yeah. And so, and then you just... It ain't like stand up where you can pull up and go up and get on. Yeah. You got to pull up and go take you a nap. <laughs> you got to pull up and sit in your car. You got to pull up and sit around just yeah. to shoot a scene that might be 20 seconds long in the movie. My God. You, man, we was out there from 5.30 in the morning to about 9 o'clock at night. Whew. And I might have shot two scenes. My God. Sitting around all day, man. Talk to me about just the movie side of things, though, man. Being an actor now, I mean, you done been in there with Booster the T out of every damn body else in this thing. 
What do you feel like is going in Atlanta too for them to be able to do all this stuff? What do you think that the future of Atlanta movie making is gonna be? Man, to be honest with you, it gonna be like it gonna be like you man, it's just gonna it's gonna explode. Yeah. It's gonna be so many movies. I don't know what's gonna happen because I ain't never seen it boil over. Mm-hmm. But I remember when everybody started bootlegging. Something mm-hmm. like that. That's why I can compare it to when everybody started yeah. bootlegging. When you come outside of Magic City, there's a table set up. It exactly. just got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you see your bootleg in the bag, yeah. whispering to you, I got everything. <laughs> and it went to a point, by 01, 02, 03, they set up a table and be like, yo. And then the artists will walk in and see they stuff. So it's like it's going to be that saturated. Yeah. I feel like anybody with a camera going to shoot, but it, but, but it ain't got nothing to do with the movie. It's the script. Yeah. It's the script. You can't get you can't get any anybody to write a good script. When it comes to the script, though, how much of that you got to freestyle and improvise on, man? Regardless of who wrote it, yeah. I'm gonna have to put the sauce on. It. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna, that's I, what I would care try to who figure wrote out. it. I don't care if you good writer yeah. or a bad writer. Just whatever you write, I'm gonna make you look good. Okay, I'm okay. gonna put that sauce on it because I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna go to the script supervisor and say, "Hey, did this happen yet? Or this ain't happened yet?" <laughs> I'm gonna say, did they already get their money back, or did they already did he already get shot? Yeah. And I'm gonna come in there and make them and make your movie hold just like that. See, that's crazy. As yeah, because I'm dope. I'm surgical with it. I mean, being on those sets, though, man. I mean, what has been your best time so far, just on set cutting up? Man, on set. Yeah. yeah. Man, that crazy. On set yesterday, me, Young Dro, Tip. Yeah. Few of us on set cracking jokes again. Yeah. I looked them in the eye and said, boy, these folks don't know you talk about me way more than I talk about you. <laughs> like, this just yesterday. Yeah. Man, I'm talking about just cracking jokes. Nav Green, Kelly, yeah, yeah, J-Ski. Yeah, yeah. When we there, if anybody else there, if us three or me, J-Ski, Nav Green ain't there, it ain't going to be no, it ain't going to be no real laughter. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be... He's just going to be chilling. How do you feel about the comedy movement at the same do, uh, time, though, too, man? Because, I mean, this comedy movement is stronger than the rapping movement in the city. So you saying what I, what I feel like? What I feel about Yeah, it? how do you feel about just all of y'all getting together and working to create this new atmosphere of comedy in the city? I feel good because I actually, this was not like a dream of mine because I don't do no dreaming. Yeah. Uh, I do all the doing. Yeah, yeah. I don't say shit. That, you know, I don't say nothing. I just do. That's right. But just do the fact that I, not that I put it together, tip spearheading the whole movement. But he mm. told me this 20 years ago, 20 some years ago. Are you serious? Ago. Yes. He told me this 20 some years ago, this will, will happen. And we doing it. I mean, think about that, though, man. Knowing that man for 20 years, how has y'all relationship been over those 20 years? Watching him go through his changes, you going through your changes, and still maintaining a friendship and a working relationship at the same time. I give, I give him all the credit. Yeah. I give him all the credit because cause, cause I was just I was being a comedian like I was supposed to. And we were cool in the beginning, and then he went he to, you know, he went and blew, blew up. Yeah. And I was still sideline looking, yeah. shows even, I ain't miss a show a year. Yeah. I ain't go to five shows a year, but yeah. at least one year, in those, one day in 07, I was down there in Memphis watching him Come perform. on. In 08, I was up there in Cincinnati watching. Come Nine, on. Nine, I'm over here in Virginia Beach. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But I wasn't there constantly. Yeah. So by like 13, 14, I literally said that. I was like, yo, we got to get on it. And he was like, he ain't really say much. He just was like, all right. You know, yeah. he ain't say all right. He just staring at me like. <laughs> like, and then we was in a mansion in L.A. standing yeah. right there. And he just, from that time, we just started rolling. Oh, my God. And then to be, to be the one to say I wanted to do it, like, I really wanted to, I really wanted to make sure that 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 I was known for this, yeah. known for it and building this. Yeah, yeah. And really, it's all on him, be honest with you. Mm-hmm. If he wouldn't have been the one to put, you know, moving it, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have had it done. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, yeah. So really, it's on him, but it's still my dr- – well, not the dream, like I said. It's still <laughs> my doing. Still my doings on, like, I want, this st- I want it to be funny and I want it to be comedy. Exactly. I don't want no heartfelt nothings. <laughs> no I heartfelt nothings. I want it to be funny, no that. heartfelt nothings at all. What makes K-Dub laugh, though, man? 
Anything. Okay. Anything. And yeah, we in the breakfast club and Joe doing an interview. <laughs> that makes me laugh right there. But see, I was thinking that that was maybe a laugh to keep from crying type of laugh because the man was coming so deep from his heart. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Like, I would say this. I would say this. Joe is my guy. Going to always be my guy. Yeah. I'm talking about one of the coolest guys. Always yeah. have been way back. In, I might have met Drew in 03, 04. So. Yeah. Man, I have nothing bad to say about this guy. Yeah. I think uh, it went wrong right there. Mm. When, 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 like when he assumed that I was laughing at that, uh, I think that's where it went wrong. The people don't know that, but that's where the mess up at. Yeah. Because if I was to go out and make this same mistake, they would blame me. Yeah. But due to the fact that I don't know what in that, what in them, but I don't, I don't care about them like that. Yeah. But I think that's where it went wrong at to assume yeah. I was laughing at that. Then what the hell was you laughing at? Because when everybody watched the video, it seemed like that's what you was laughing at, though. Oh, yeah. When you watch a lot of stuff, it can seem like a lot of stuff. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you can. But, no, what happened was, even when I said about the pill, that wasn't the funniest thing. The funniest thing was his voice uh. in that interview. But yeah. you got to understand that Drew just was laughing at me about the same thing. Uh. And I talked to my partner, BL. Yeah. Because BL is a mutual friend with them who's been cool with them long when he's been cool with me. But now I'm yeah. cool with him, so I call him. I'm like, do you remember we flying up yeah. and how he was laughing at me when uh. I was talking and explaining myself? Yeah. And he was laughing at my voice? Yeah. And my partner, Nitty, Nitty B used to laugh at me because he was like, nigga, first you talking like this, now you talking like a damn nerd. <laughs> and so yeah. on the way up, Dre was like, Cold switching. Dre was like, Nigga, what's wrong with your voice? Why is you talking like that? <laughs> and then they all laughing at me. BL laughing, Tip laughing, everybody yeah. laughing. So we get in the breakfast club on the way up. And plus, we've been telling Dro for the last year, be a yeah. comedian. Yeah. You need to be a comedian. Yeah. You need to. That's it. That's oh it. So God. all this left turn. Well, I won't call it a left turn. All this left turn to go into the drug problem. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about that. Yeah. And a lot of people was like, yo, read the room. Fuck the room. I ain't got to read nothing. That was my room. Dro was talking... And I was waiting on him to get done so I can crack some jokes. Yeah. I didn't know it was going that way. Uh, that was my room to start with because Tip told me we going up there to promote the Breakfast Club. And yeah. when we go do radio, I control the funny. Mm. I don't I'm not, I don't, I don't control nothing. This ain't mine. Yeah. But when we walk in and sit down, I might say, look at Beehive, boy. That, that, that skull hat. <laughs> Tip, that skull hat come out with the dreads, don't <laughs> Dreads come out with the skull hat. That's the first thing I'm going at. Tim know it, everybody know it, even yeah. Joe know it. But when it went left on that, man, I'm still laughing at other other shit. I ain't even listening to that. Yeah. Y'all heard it yeah. because that's what Shade Room did, that uh, narrative. Yeah. They put up there, drove by the slap. Yeah. Me, yeah. shit me. Yeah. Nobody gonna slap me. Not like like that, but nobody. Yeah. Gonna, if don't nobody die, ain't nobody getting slapped. Cause Come I'm on. gonna die. <laughs> I ain't say I'm gonna kill Dro. No, no, I'm not. Dro, my nigga. But you slap me behind, yeah. you, yeah, you gonna kill me too. know what they expect. You gonna kill me too. You gonna spend some money. <laughs> you not slap me. I don't know how many fans out there tell me, oh, Dro, go. No, nobody gonna slap me. Let's yeah. get that straight. Never ever gonna get slapped unless you plan on killing me too. Yeah. Just shoot me in the head. Don't slap me. <laughs> don't slap me. Just go on, shoot me in the head. Cause that what you're going to have to do. But yeah. outside of that, outside of that, I thought it was my room. Yeah. I didn't realize it was not my room until afterward, until, until Ryan told me, like, I told y'all that y'all ain't even got to be here. And I was like, oh, the we for because they also told me, which made more sense, is that fucking song is nominated for a Grammy. Ooh. I'm like, if I'd have known that information, I wouldn't even went. I went with my class, or yeah. I wouldn't. Why would I want to get up at four, five in the morning to catch a jet to do the Breakfast Club? I yeah. don't want to do that. I know some fans out here might want to catch a jet, yeah. But I rode on the jet, so I don't want to fly up there when I could have been with my class, yeah. But I didn't read the room wrong. It just some some incompetence somewhere in there should have told me because I ain't the smartest nigga in the room, yeah. I ain't the smartest nigga nowhere. Yeah. I just know what I know. I know I need to go when it's time to go. Yeah. When it's time to crack a joke, let's go. And it's always going to be time to crack a joke. Because <laughs> you're always, a damn comedian. Always. It was this rapper, producer, slash content making ass, not knowing what he want to do ass nigga, made a video about this thing. And I, I don't know him, but I know of him. And I'm yeah. like, why is you making a video about this? You could have called me. You could be like, yo, Dub, I want to get your side because I'm going to make a video. Uh, you made a video. When I come on your page and tell you how stupid this shit sounds, you tell me, yo, I want to hear your side respectfully. Yeah. Eat a dick, man. My God. Don't suck a dick, bro. You tripping. 
Well, the beautiful thing is that y'all brothers and Man, like you said, always be brothers. Exactly. And when I say somebody was gonna die, don't you try to direct that to us, Joe? I mean, any blow Joe that wants to do some slap. Oh, exactly. Yeah, but <laughs> no. like I said earlier, and I say a hundred times, man, Joe ain't never been number nice to me yet. in his heyday when he was. Cole is still top 10 yeah. to me. Yeah, me too. He always looked out, and somebody would say, well, he looked out, why would you laugh? I'm laughing at this man the way he's talking. I ain't listening to nothing he's saying. I ain't listening to him turn this corner. Yeah. He turning this corner. Yeah. I wouldn't have turned, I personally, I wouldn't go in there for that. Yeah. And guess what? I had the, when Joe apologized to me again downstairs. Oh, man. When he apologized again, I told Joe, I said, Joe, I hate that you have to do this because this just is not fair. It's not even fair. You feel bad and you didn't even come up here for this. And, you know, I'm laughing. And people think I'm, well, at this time, I ain't know what people think. I'm like, man, I hate you had to get outside yourself like that. It wasn't like, yo, you wasn't going to slap me. Yeah. It wasn't none of that junk. Yeah. That in the interview, sitting down, I was on that. But by the time we come, I, I we was never on that walking out of that. We shook hands. If you watch the end of Breakfast Club, they should have a little us getting up, walking away. If not, then you would see us shaking hands. But I hate Joe felt like that more than anybody. Man, <laughs> that's just a beautiful thing, just the brotherhood that y'all got mm -hmm. as well. But talk to me about did you know that it was about to go viral, sir? Yeah, we was all we was kind of setting up for it. We, we, we recorded a couple of skits that we put out <laughs> to try to. But when it did go viral and people went to talking, I'm the kind of guy like, I like to pour salt on your wounds. Mm. So when people went to talking who don't know, like the retarded, the retar yeah. in retarded land, internet land, I was just, I wasn't upset at nobody. I was just like, these some dumb ass people, man. Yeah. Like, who got time? to not know the story and leave a comment. Like, mm. I ain't never did that before. Yeah. Who got time? And you know, Shade Room them gonna do that. Like, yeah. they just foul. They, not foul, but they just, what they call it? They like a, Missy. like a pawn shop yeah. owner, like a sleaze ball, a, 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 a slime ball. Like, somebody that run a nightclub, a nigga with a ponytail that run a nightclub, a slime ball. So all those type of sites be slime ball people. Yeah. Every time, when they write stuff, it take them two hours to figure out what they want their caption to be. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. They put young Joe about to slap, like, nigga, y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> 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 Did your phone blow up after that, though? I mean, what it was going on with that? It didn't blow up because everybody know me. Yeah. Any, anybody got my number know me. Yeah. So they know. They know me. They know I'm I just talking about with knows and Negroes no, just trying I'm to figure out what they I hell. might have had a few, but yeah. you don't understand. The people that really know me, yeah. they know that, first of all, not this ain't this ain't point to young, young Joe. They know I'm going to kick somebody's ass, yeah. the people that know me. And they know I'm going to slap somebody, the people that know me. But see, I ain't talking about from that perspective. I'm just talking about niggas just being nosy and wanting to know what the hell, yeah. wanting to know your side yeah. of the story. And, just and, like, no, I didn't get that much because they know also that I'm a mean person. Like, not mean, but I'm a little feisty person. Yeah. So you really can't call me because I'm, I'm going to be like, you hello. You might be like, what the? Yeah. I'm literally going to be like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> like, literally. And then, like, it was a girl called me, and she was trying to allude to it. Yeah. She was just like, yeah, hey, and, you know, I got this new job. And, you know, I, met, and I know I know that you enjoy our cool. I'm like, hey, look, bitch, if you mention some young jokers, <laughs> stop mentioning it. Because young Joe is really my favorite goddamn rapper. Exactly. It's like me getting into a Michael Jackson. Come like, on, man. I don't want to get into a no fucking Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't want to get into a young Joe. Why would I get into a young Joe? Nigga, I cut my dreads off to wear waves like young Joe. I cut my oh, dreads man. in fucking January 2nd, 07. You tell me. Woo. I cut that shit off in January 2nd. <laughs> you tell me what year that was. Shoulder lean dropped probably a little bit 40 in. Yeah. I wear waves, nigga. But regardless of that, man, regardless of that, the people can die. You know what yeah. I mean? Everybody left a comment. If you left a comment, I hope you die. Because you shouldn't do that. <laughs> You should never do that. Don't ever, ever do that. Don't assume. Yeah. Don't do that. And if somebody tell me that same thing, I'm going to understand because I shouldn't assume. No, I feel that. I mm -hmm. feel that. Now, Doug, we got to go to the trending topics as well, man. Yes, sir. Diddy. Diddy. Thousand bottles of baby oil. Whoever left a comment, I hope Diddy fucked the shit out of oh, you. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope Diddy oh, no. fucked the shit out of you and your mammy. See that. For every nigga that left a comment, for every grown man that got under there and said, Dub, you know you were wrong. 
Like I hope it, boy. I don't even want to tell you what I hope no more. But I hope it. I hope it. I hope we stand in a, a, a ant bed with red ants. You and your kids. I hate y'all, man. Y'all wrong for that. You like, know what? Then I'm gonna go back there. Go ahead. Go where you at? How did it feel being on that side of social media? Had you ever found yourself on that yes, side of social media? Yes. When them niggas lied like they ran to Ferguson. Yeah. I told them folk they didn't run to Ferguson and some type of way a whole black league. More than this. It was worse than this back in like 2014, oh 15. My God. This one nothing because I ain't see none of that. Yeah. I ain't see no comments. Yeah. Comedian Erica Duchess was like, You saw the comment? I'm like, hell no, I ain't seen no comments. I know you and Drew from the West Side and you probably on this side, but fuck no, I ain't seen no comments. <laughs> Go ahead on with them West Side shit. Ain't nobody yeah. seen no comments. It's just some old I ain't seen no comment. Only yeah. comments I seen is the comments that came to me. Yeah. You feel me? The ones that were good, but I ain't exactly. seen none of that. I might have blocked like 15 people, maybe like 10, 15 people, who, not the people that said bullshit, but the people that was acting like they knew who was going into detail, I might have blocked them. Yeah. But the people that just had their opinion on it, yeah. I ain't blocked them. I let them keep their opinion. I let it stay on the page. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, they, you both feel that way when you're stupid. When you're stupid, <laughs> you both go with what your stupid ass brain told your stupid ass. <laughs> So I understand that because I didn't did that before. I didn't yeah. with my I didn't man. I got four baby mamas, so I didn't did stupid ass shit too. So yeah, you pulled to do some stupid ass shit when you don't know. But nah, you, you like you said, what the hell you were laughing at? At him, oh, want man. him to be a comedian? Yeah, yeah. Want it? I would. I, I, I Joe is funnier than a motherfucker, man. Like yeah. he's a funny nigga. He the only nigga. That roast me. And if a nigga knew how much he <laughs> roast me, that you would shut your dumb ass up. Yeah. Like, he's a roaster, funny nigga, man. And I'm not trying to say that. Everybody know that. Well, we, now, everybody know y'all fam, too. So I, that was the, the fam other part. part is cool. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm definitely fam. I'm I'm fam and a fan. Yeah. A Joe. Yeah. And he knows it. Exactly. When Joe come in the club, I rap his song word for word. Come on. It's only about 10 people that I know they album. When you saw the feds say that Diddy had a thousand bottles of baby oil in the house, what went through your mind, man? Thousand bottles of baby oil? Mm-hmm. Man, ain't nothing go through my mind. Because I ain't never been up on Diddy like that. Like, yeah. as far as, I always heard that. I, I guess it was supposed to have a thousand bottles of baby oil, I guess. You feel me? But I ain't think nothing. I just thought maybe... I ain't think nothing about the baby. The baby oil thing wasn't funny to me. It wasn't yeah. even it wasn't even attractive. It was nothing. There wasn't no interest behind yeah. it. Because even when they said they don't even know if it's baby oil, I'd never even looked at that part. What part I looked at with with, with Diddy is his is, is his kids. I was like, damn, I wonder yeah. what they think. That's the only yeah. thing I was thinking about. But everything else with Diddy being grown, I've been hearing this I've been hearing this for 30 years that yeah. Diddy is messed up. So that ain't nothing new. I've heard worse stories than that. Yeah. You know, don't wait till you get 50 years old to start paying attention. Yeah. I've been paying attention when I was 10, so this ain't the worst story that I've heard. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on it to be over. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be over? And how do you think this going to impact the industry, man? It ain't going to impact it because Diddy ain't really been nothing but in, I can't say he was in the way, but he. if you look at your charts right here, yeah. he's not on them, so he's yeah. not a part of nothing. He just placed himself there selling alcohol and stuff like keep showing up. Yeah. Music industry been done with Diddy. Mm. But he just keeps showing up yeah. to the music industry shit. That's cold. Yeah. That's cold right there though. Yeah. So now the other trend of news, Big Meech done got free, man. I mean, do you think we gonna get a reinvigorated BMF going on in Atlanta, but not on that side of the street. On the positive oh. side of the street. Or is well, it hard in time again? No, it ain't party time again. Because one thing about it, I remember when they came. Uh-huh. I was around here when they came. I used to see them in the club. I was stepping on their feet. <laughs> like, I was literally, I literally, I mean that, stepping on their feet. I remember stepping on one of them feet going into Magic City. Uh-huh. And the bitch was like, what the motherfucker stepping on my feet? I was like, shut up. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, snapping like that at her. And then one nigga come up like, oh, what, what going on? And then my right hand of God. This my right hand of God. Big Pat. That's around here in Atlanta. Big Pat Basement was standing there. Uh, Meech was like, hey, 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 hey. Calmed all that shit down. Mm. This is a story that I ain't really never told nobody because I ain't never been on the radio and nobody talked about BML. Yeah, yeah. But this was like 0203 at Magic. True story. Mm. Big Pat will confirm it. Yeah. Yeah. I Because they used to hold the stairs up. Yeah. 
what they would do is they'll form a line at the stairs uh-huh. all the way back to the parking lot if you know how Magic City set up. <laughs> yeah. And I got in free. Mm. I've been knowing them. I'm friends with the kids, Juju, Lil Mash, <laughs> Big Mash, they mamas, you know what I mean? Like I'm I hosted they hosted Lil Magic Wedding. Yeah, yeah. In Vegas. My you God. feel me? Stayed yeah. up all night. Come on. Magic City shit. So I'm knowing these folk. Yeah. I'm coming past them because at this time they ain't the BMF, the notorious BMF. They just a group of people. Yeah. They just a group of people. I come up on the side of them with my my right side touching the rail, yeah. trying to ease up because they up against the wall. Yeah, and I and the bitch had a long ass <laughs> Sam Cassell ass feet out there, <laughs> and I made mistake and stepped on it, and she called herself snapping. And I'm on some ice cube. Shut up, bitch. You know, be quiet. Yeah, before you get me killed out here. Yeah, because I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Yeah, cause I ain't, ain't nobody doing nothing. Yeah, you yeah. gonna spend some money fucking with me? Come I'm on. expensive. So, so, uh, I got on in there and they get in there and they was just everybody had a bottle. And Meech, this one thing I can say about Meech, he was a goddamn nice ass guy. Like he was never no frowned up ass nigga. He didn't have to because he had a lot of money, but he was he it was it was easy. Yeah, he wasn't like. He wasn't like a Nino Brown, but cancel that bitch. He was just, he was, he was a cool dude. I don't know him. I don't know him. I've never yeah. talked to him. I only stood from a distance from here to your door with him. Yeah. But I noticed he was kind of, he was docile. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. No, I'm with you. So now, other news <clears throat> Kendrick, Drake. What did you think about that whole beef when you watched that going on? And then seeing uh, Kendrick about to perform at the Super Bowl as well. I never liked Drake like that. And I hate Drake, but I had never thought Drake should exist, to be honest with you. Now, why did you never feel like Drake because should exist? Because I I I'm a writer, I'm a comedian, I'm an artist, and I didn't like how it's almost like microwave ass rapping. Like, to uh, me, you know, but I, nothing, I actually like his music. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah. I like his music. Uh, I will put that, I remix that. Mm-hmm. Man, I love that fucking song, mm-hmm. bro. Like, Dro music it. I mean, Dro. Drake. Drake's. Drake Dro. <laughs> Drake Dro drugs. What the fuck? <laughs> but, um, um, Drake's music is fucking dope. Yeah. But him, I'm like, ah, you ain't getting no reward from me. Yeah. I will give your music a reward, but I don't want you to touch the reward. Come on. I'm just going to give a, a a Grammy for, for that song, but you don't touch it. Don't put your goddamn <laughs> hands on that award. <laughs> it's the awards award. It's the music award. It's not your award. Exactly. But, so when, when, when Meek, who I fucked with, mm-hmm. I fuck with Meek. Yeah. Let Drake, not let him, I can't, I don't want to say that about Meek, but when he didn't kick his ass, <laughs> that fucked me up. Then Drake started getting arrogant. And when Kendra came and bounced his ass like a basketball, oh my God. Uh, I was in the club telling my they not like us. They not like us. <laughs> Man, I was the first one. I was in church. They not like us. I was in some pussy. They not like us. Man, I was in jail. They not like us. <laughs> Everywhere. They not like us. I'm talking about for real, man. I loved it. I ain't like the song. That's the sad part. I didn't even, I didn't, that's why I was saying they not like us. Yeah. I don't even know. Only thing I like about Kendrick is a few songs in the beginning, and that's it. But I don't know much about Kendrick. West Coast, I fuck with him. When when I was hosting Hip Hop Awards, he was a cool person. Yeah, because I would call him the King of New York yeah. back then off the stage. But <laughs> I like that that he did that to Drew. I'm a divisive type of guy. I'm yeah. a little confrontational, I must say. <laughs> so I would like that he. I, I like that he did that to Drake. I loved it. Like, get the light skin they got here, man. What's going on? On another note, though, <laughs> Brandon James, he done finally put up some numbers in the game. 17 points. Yeah, he I put saw up that. 17 points, man. I mean, how do you feel about that now? Do you feel like he deserves or he just got lucky one night? I don't know if he got lucky, but uh, he was playing against – it was only one name on the whole roster that against the Golden State that I recognized. Okay. So he was playing against – some little, I can't say uh, they was way better than me and anybody in my high school. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he was playing against, he wasn't playing against Curry and Clay yeah. and you know all those Draymond and all those guys. He yeah. wasn't playing against. Not that they got Draymond. He wasn't playing against Draymond. Yeah, yeah. Draymond wasn't even in the game. So it ain't like 
I ain't knocking Bronny. I, I was just I, glad to see him find a scope. Yeah, I, I I I like the whole little him playing with his dad thing. You I know do what I mean? So I don't care how many points he score. Yeah, I think they should just let him play with his dad. You know, <laughs> and I think I think a lot of people in the higher office thought that because you could clearly see that he probably wasn't good enough because <laughs> you know some people that's better than him. We was watching. Thanks. We was watching. They had I don't know how many picks they pick. How many do they pick in the draft? Like. Probably about, about 60, almost two rounds, 30 in each. I'm thinking about 25, 50. I don't know hell. Well, we have them in. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Gonzaga had a better play over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Xavier had a better play over there. No, I feel that. I yeah. feel that. Yeah. Do you think they going to get uh, – do you think Thug is ever going to get free? Is this trial ever going to end, man? Man, I hope so. Thug is one of those guys too. He's a good. He's. A, I don't know who he is to the people in the hoods around yeah. the ops and all that, but he was one of them good people, man. Yeah. So I want to see him out. I'm not watching that trial. I can't watch it. But same reason people shouldn't have watched that interview and made, made. Cause I ain't. I don't. I wasn't there in the streets. Yeah. So I can't really get on there and be like, man, they don't know what they're talking about. That's, yeah. So I can't watch it. Yeah. I can watch it, but then I ain't gonna be the form of no opinion. So I try. I just not gonna watch it because I don't know. I've been I've been knowing Thug for about seven eight years, My God. and he's been locked up for about three years. So I only been knowing him for three four years. Yeah, yeah. You know, three four years for real. So, but in knowing him, he was always a cool guy, man. Not even cool like I'm just saying he cool because he cool with me. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. So I want him out. I want him to get out. I, I ain't nothing I can do about it, but I want him to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you think about the entertainment industry, though, man, between death, jail, and Rico's, man, this is, it's a lot of stuff going on for black males out here all over the place. How do you feel like all of this stuff is affecting the game, man? Do you look up and you're like, hey, man, I remember when so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so was here, and nobody's here, or does it just keep on going or keep on moving? Well, the world is wicked. That's why I said I'm waiting till you 50 years old to start – Recognizing, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I hear a lot of older people, forty and up, say this new generation, this new generation, these times is different. It ain't different. When you were sixteen, you didn't give a fuck to listen and watch. Same bullshit. Yeah. You really want me? You you think a fifty year old person can convince me that his generation is better than this generation? Come on. Y'all niggas was rats and trash too, nigga. Come Y'all on. niggas was tra- terrible. Come on. I grew up with you niggas. <laughs> exactly. Y'all niggas was trash. It was off the damn Y'all chain. niggas is not better than my kids. Yeah. Yeah. You 55 year old niggas did not, y'all niggas is not better than my kids. Ooh. And they say, why kids don't go outside? Because y'all niggas was kidnappers and child molesters. <laughs> no, nobody want their kids outside no more. Y'all Come niggas on. did y'all thing in the 80s. Exactly. Y'all niggas did some good old bullshit in the 80s to make a motherfucker like me not even want my daughter outside no more. Nigga, I'm with you. Yeah, so it's like people be blind. They open their eyes when they 38 to me, man, these kids crazy. <laughs> you should have looked at your dumb ass when you were 14. You should have looked around. When you were 14, you yeah. should have looked around and seen this dumb ass shit going on. Come on. I refuse to believe that times are getting I know times are getting better. I know times are getting better. People say times are getting worse. It's getting better. And with the entertainment business, it's been wicked since the beginning. Mm. Walt Disney and them was perverse, man. It's been, it's been wicked. And yeah. plus, <clears throat> I tell comedians, stop praying to God. He ain't giving you shit in this business. He only thing he gonna do is wake you up in the morning, put some breath in your body, give you some health and strength. That's yeah. it. He ain't giving you nothing else. That money you gotta make yourself. That movie role you gotta get yourself. God ain't helping you with none of this bullshit you talking about. All the bullshit you asking about, you might want to talk to the devil. He'll help you out a little quicker in this bullshit ass industry. They they worship the devil. That's what they that's what they say. He went and sat down and sold his soul to the devil. Entertainment business, you got to talk to the devil. Don't talk to God. He ain't helping you in this business, baby. Because this business is too wicked for him to even get involved in. If God in his entertainment business, he ain't God. Because this shit is trash. If I knew what it take to make it in this business, I wouldn't have got in it. I'm pretty sure nobody would have. I'm pretty sure nobody. Nobody. Because you just snapped with that. Oh, man. Because what you just said is what folks in the industry understand. Yes. But nobody wants to say that because nobody wants to even believe that it could be that damn bad. It's the devil's work, man. Fuck out of here. God ain't in this business. You pray if you if you if you pray for anything in this entertainment business, you're not gonna get it. That's reason don't nobody blow up. Go talk to the devil. You'll blow up tomorrow. You'll blow up tomorrow. But I ain't talking to the devil or God. I'm just having fun out here. 
I'm just having fun making people laugh. When did you come to that realization, though, K Dub? Oh, uh, when I. How long? How how deep was you in the game before you looked up and you realized? Wait a minute. This uh, ain't making no sense. I probably was a <clears throat> probably um uh, honestly probably about 2003. Mm. I probably was about <clears throat> 21, 22 when I realized this 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 ain't right. Ain't none of this really cool because, you know, an R. Kelly tape dropped that year. Yeah. So I'm like, this ain't cool. Ain't none of it cool. I wish I could have just went on back, but I felt like I was too deep in it then. I wish I could have let it just get on. Look, 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 look. I'm only famous because I was allegedly laughing at somebody's daughter, right? Mm. And it's sticking, right? People believing it. But what they don't know is... My only daughter is in the same exact position. My God. My it's God. It's the devil, bro. That, that God ain't if God was involved, he'd have told them people like, yo, he, he ain't laughing at his daughter. They'd have knew. They'd have been like, he ain't laughing at his daughter. His his daughter is 21 years old, look just like me, and is in the same position. What Joe was saying. I could have been saying that shit, but I ain't telling my business like that. I'm yeah. saying a little something now. Yeah. But it ain't like it was back then or it's gonna be. It's current. Yeah. yeah. My daughter's in the same. I didn't send her. We, me and her mama didn't send her to rehab three, four times. My God. And she's in the position right now. Mm -hmm. I have nothing. And some people want it. You know how you ask me, like, well, what were you laughing? I'm like, boy. That the entertainment business is wicked because even he really kind of in his heart believed that. You know, not like yeah. he believed it. Yeah. But why? It's because of the wicked entertainment business, man. It's almost like, Ooh. it's almost like to, I watch my partners go through stuff. I watch, I watch, I watch my partner Nitty. I watch my partner Tip. I watch a lot of my partners go through stuff that wasn't really true. Ooh. And now I'm going through it. And it's like, only way I get famous is if I got to get my ass kicked. The devil, man. If I knew I had to have a million people saying I ain't shit to get farther in the game, which I am, I like the followers. Appreciate y'all coming. <laughs> but the rest of you bastards that left them comments, I hope you got out, boy. <laughs> nah, but feel, you know what I'm saying? I like, feel you, though, Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that, that whole Grand Hustle family, man, everybody over there, man, from Doug to C-Rod yeah. to Country to... To 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 uh, JG to to Tyon to yeah. to Ryan to to just everybody over there, man. The old the old cats back in the day, man. Rest in peace, Clay. Yeah, you know if Clay was here, none of this wouldn't have happened. Everybody would know everything. Yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> everybody would know yeah, what Clay. they were doing. Clay is yeah. Rest in peace, Clay. That's a bad. That's one of the baddest. That's one of the baddest people I know, man. Yeah, he one of the baddest people I know. And get a shirt made too. Come on, man. Gotta get a shirt made. No, man. man. Clay was the damn truth. Yeah, man. OG Clay. Come on, man. What they call him man. <laughs> they don't make him like that. See, that's the thing about it. Those Clay characters, mm. it's almost like they're too good to stay forever. Yeah, and that's and, and, and they did that with my partner Franco, man. Rest yeah. in peace, Franco. Franco. Oh, 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 Mays. Mays High School. He, yeah. He went to school with Andre Dickens. All of them. Okay, they all graduated yeah. together. Franco. Yeah. Freaky T. Zay. Zay Gillum. All of them. Yeah. Folk, I'm calling these folks now. They're going to be like, this fool went on there and called our name. <laughs> Mays High. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Look, now that Mays High though. Yeah. But, but Andre Dickens, the same year. And yeah. that's why me and him cool. I'm like, yo, your classmate, Franco, which was probably the funniest person in the class. Yeah. I'm like, that's my guy. He like, and I'm a comedian, and I didn't kick it with Mayor Dickens. That's and, crazy. And you got a uh, finesse Mitchell comedian. Yeah. He, yeah. he from that class too, and Damn. that's my guy. So, I'm kind of, you know, a lot of people don't know, but I'm an Atlanta guy. Like, yeah. I'm an Atlanta guy. I've been here since. You've been high, here over 25 years. Yeah, yeah, high school. Shit. So, ain't like I'm trying to say I'm plugged in, but. A lot of people that's around here that's from Atlanta, they was in these streets 25 years ago. Yeah. So even if you, let's say you, let's say you 40 years old. Yeah. You was sucking your mama titty when I was around here running around in these streets. Come on. In Atlanta, in these streets that you were born. I recall a K-Dub pulling up to the 18 morning show. 
Yeah, man. And cranking that thing. I was yeah. an intern back then. Oh, you so, an intern over Yeah, there? I was right in there. I remember that. I was like, man, this nigga there is rocking that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to, to me about them <laughs> days at that time, <laughs> man. Rashawn, what up, though, Griffiths? <laughs> what's, what's up? What's up, Emperor Cersei? Cersei. What's up, Bikini? Yeah, Bikini. What's up, Beyonce? Man, Aloysius. Aloysius. <laughs> the game. Yeah, the CJ, game. don't leave CJ I out. I ain't gonna leave CJ out, Yeah. Man. I ain't gonna leave Mama Chuli out. Oh, even, Mama Chuli. Like, yeah, Mama yeah. Chuli. Look, but, um, What's the name set that up? Uh, who put that together, man? Uh, Akini. Akini put that together. Yeah. Akini was strict too, bro. He's <laughs> like, dude, I don't care what you do, we can edit. Yeah. And bro, Rashawn was the Rashawn, Rashawn Ali. Come on. Shout out to Rashawn Ali, man. Yes, sir. The, uh, the realest, the coldest. Come on. Like, like, that's that's my dog right there. Like. That's my dog. If you don't love Rashawn, that's Something just because you're you. a hater. You, you, you a certified you the hater. You're devil, man. <laughs> so you are the devil. You are the devil if you don't rock with Rashawn Ali, man. Come that, on. That, that motivation, the black woman, the black exactly. woman catch me in the morning, look me in the eyes and be looking at me. And she was beautiful. And strong. And strong. And she'd be like, you are funny. Just go out there and do whatever you want to do. Come on. And, 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 and she'd be the first one laughing when I hear it in the phone. And she's tell me. She used to be like she had started taking over that part, but yeah. that one even got. Group was a comedian, and 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 Akini was my like boss, I guess. Yeah. But Rashawn used to meet me at the door. What you doing today? <laughs> whatever you want to do, just do whatever. You yeah. gonna talk to some crackheads? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, man. Yeah, I run over there, holla, maybe six in the morning. I'm out there with a crackhead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is you out there with crackheads? Man, ain't nobody <laughs> studying these folks, bro. I'm in the goddamn get it in. How do you feel when you look back over all of those different times? Because, see, that was a segment, a certain time in K-Dub's life. You done did so much shit since then mm -hmm. and before then, before man. Before then, so yeah. how do you comp uh, departmentalize all of that shit in your mind over these 20 some years? Man, I guess it's all for the kids, man. Yeah. I guess my son will be able to get a job at 107 when he tell him his daddy ran around here. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you, 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 Same uh, thing. you will set up a GoFundMe for my baby mama, you know what I mean? <laughs> you will shot the Go fund me out yeah, on this Yeah, So everything I'm doing ain't for me. Come on. You know, I get out here tomorrow. You feel me? It ain't yeah. for me. It's for them kids. Come on, man. You know what I mean? We know it ain't no, ain't no date on it. So yeah. I try to do everything right. Even with me. Uh, just, just withstanding all that. Yeah. Withstanding everything that come to me. I know it ain't about me. I'm going to take it all. I got to ask you this, though, Dub. Uh, when we were talking earlier about the entertainment industry being evil, has there ever been a time to where you felt like you saw the success occur naturally and gracefully without the extra, without the negativity? No. No. I was trying to find It's it. always some bullshit. It's trash. Man. It's trash. It's more people that know Tip went to jail than know they got out. Yeah. One white girl was like, T.I., is he in, he's still in jail? I was like, wow. <laughs> My God. Like, so it's like, it ain't built on that, man. It ain't built on... We know the NFL ain't built on how much talent you got. It ain't built on, it ain't built on none of that. It's yeah. built on the bullshit. Yeah. You know, Cat William, biggest interview for talking all that bullshit. It, okay, it was a good interview. Everybody laughed, but it was a lot of bullshit. Yeah. A lot of lies, too. Ooh. I know it was a lot of lies because as soon as he said, said don't have a special, I was like, I just watched said special the other day. Yeah. So I know, not that like I'm saying Cat Williams is a liar. Yeah. But... How did the comedy community feel watching that? I mean, we didn't really care because we all, we all like, we all like, we like Cat and we like whoever and we used to hitting each other side of the head. We always gonna do that, even if it's on a level where Cat is serious. But what we all knew was some of it was, it was 75% true. Yeah. Yes. And now, we, we got this thing we do now. We be like, man... Uh, and we call it that's that that's that Cat William <laughs> because some of it true yeah 
but uh, some of it ain't. So yeah. it's that Cat William. What do you think about the damage that does the folks when it, some of it ain't true and some of it? Because also, too, you know, you working closely with other superstars and stuff in hell. You just had to deal with the same shit this damn week. Mm -hmm. How do you think that impacts people when these lies are hitting harder than the truth? Man, actually make said entertainer go show up at a show and more people come. Ooh. That's it. I ain't going to lie to you. I might have got about this week, man, if, you, if they look at my story... On that Tuesday wins, I might have posted about seven, eight flyers for shows. Mm. It don't matter if it's good or bad, bro. You can be, you can be, you can be killing grandma. Six million people love it. You can be beating up women. Six million people love it. You can be eating dog shit. Six million people love it. It don't matter what you do. Six million people love it. At what point did you realize that the entertainment industry was ran by the bullshit, man? And was that a tough pill to swallow when you realized that? I'm the type of nigga you ain't got to really show me. Yeah. You ain't got to, you know, you got to show me. Nah. <laughs> you can tell me something, and I'm going to take it as face value, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to kind of move with it. And if I find out it not to be true, then I just find out on a day where you ain't even paying attention to me. Yeah. It just fall off like a leaf on a tree. Yeah. But if I find it to be true, then I'm going to be like, damn, it is. So even when watching all them Hollywood, uh, true Hollywood stories, yeah. VH1 Behind the Music, yeah. I'd already heard all this stuff. Mm. So I came into the game on the comedy tip. Yeah. Like nobody ever wanted to be a star. Pay attention to my career. When have you ever seen me go live? Never. Mm. When have you ever seen me grease my hair up and try to be Hollywood with some shiny pants on? Never. When <laughs> you ever seen me bump, <laughs> jump in front of the camera? You've never Ooh. seen me bust in front of the camera. I was always invited. Yeah. I've never auditioned for any fucking thing. I don't audition for nothing. Come on. I've been on 50 shows, 10 movies. I've never had to stand there and wait. It just come to me. Yeah. Not like I'm super t talented, but I never got in the business. I never even got a real headshot. All my headshots is somebody <laughs> that did it for me. I never had a website. I've never had a press kit. Yeah. I started comedy when I ain't even have a cell phone. Mm. Like, I ain't never did nothing by the book. Yeah. Everything is just done because somebody might have felt sorry for me and did it, or somebody might have said, you got talent. Let me do this for you. But I never cared about the game because the game is not my game because I damn sure ain't going to let you touch me. Yeah. I'm going to beat you up. Yeah. So I don't even want you talking crazy to me. Yeah. And the closer I got to the L.A. thing, I had a guy talking crazy like that, talking like talking. So what the, you mean the L.A.? Like, to be honest with you, the closest I ever been to the Hollywood, well, I've been all the way into the Hollywood yeah. thing as in like hanging around and being around and going to parties and mm -hmm. stuff. But it's still a, like, for instance, do you have a gay Jewish manager? No. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I've been close to a gay Jewish manager, and he was talking that gay stuff. Literally, like, this motherfucker's really talking some gay shit. Like, really, really was. And it was, like, 2016, 17 or something. And I'm like, why are you doing this, man? Why are you running me away from me? This shit, like you, my could really, dream. Why are you even talking this? Like I knew that you would probably do this. I mean, not him personally, but yeah. I knew that y'all. I knew y'all do this stuff. Yeah. But you talking gay shit right now? Not to me, at me, but you really being gay. Yeah. Now, ain't nothing wrong with being gay. Yeah. But why you got it? I would tell all gay people stop being gay to people, man. Like be regular and be gay in the bedroom. Don't come around this motherfucker being gay because I ain't around here being freaky to a woman. And a woman ain't around here being freaky to a man. Stop being gay to people. Be regular. Like, I'm being, like, I know how to lick a girl. I know how to do all this shit. But I'm not in the streets with that shit. And I'm not even in the back room talking gay, talking freak shit to a woman. Like, a woman here, I'm like, hey, how you doing? Cincinnati? Okay. Cool. That's dope. I got a partner from there. I'm not in the room where you're talking about, oh, Cincinnati? Oh, Cincinnati. <laughs> I know how y'all get down. Stop being gay. <laughs> you feel me? It ain't like I'm saying something bad. But no, you ain't saying nothing bad because I liken it to this analogy as well. It's like a smoker. Yeah. If you don't want somebody to smoke in the car with you, yeah. if you don't want nobody to smoke it in your house, I ain't mad at you smoking. 
Yeah. You just don't smoke around me. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's your body. That's you your do what body. you want to do what you want to be. do. I don't care. Okay, <laughs> but that be, but then when you talk about that LA stuff though, man, what was you trying to get done in LA and then so that that's just the normal uh protocol having to get a manager? The, no, you no, I there ain't no protocol to get no manager in LA. Yeah. It just you go out there because things be going on. Uh not just Bullshit, but you go out there and they actually have Netflix as a joke festival. Yeah. And you actually out there doing things. Yeah. And you are out there. You in Hollywood and the people are looking at you like, what up, K-Dub? It's people that know you. Like, L.A. is more, not L.A., not for my L.A. guys, not for my Compton guys, not for my Gardena guys, not for my East L.A., my real guys out there. But Hollywood, they more groupy. You're more of a star. You would think that in Atlanta you're a star. You go to L.A., it's a bigger star. No, you're more of a star in L.A. Damn. When I go to L.A., I feel more of a star. It's like I asked when I dropped the time to put my glasses on. <laughs> I don't do that in Atlanta. <laughs> when I go to L.A., man, I'm like a star, nigga. <laughs> like, like I am really a star. Like, my God. Not like really, really, I'm a superstar. I'm living but you're the feeling the love. You feel the I love. I feel the love in L.A. Ain't like, nothing wrong with that. I feel the love. Because yeah. them folk in L.A. going to watch it. They seen it. Yeah. Them folk were like, duh, man, you funny, bro. Plus, I, some of my biggest stuff was done out in L.A. I did mm. Def Jam, Def Comedy Jam out yeah. in L.A. Yeah. That Kev on stage. Shout out to Kev on stage. Yeah. Most viewed shit I had done on YouTube. Was done out in LA. One of them sets that last forever. I go, yeah. you go on my page right now, you're gonna see a hash brown underneath that. Come on, man. Like that. I, so you got to go to LA. You gotta go to LA because Atlanta may be black Hollywood, but it ain't the original 1909 Hollywood. I feel that. Uh for young folks though, K dub, I just asked Big Duke from Boys in the Hood, would he want his kids to get into music, and he was like, no. Would you want your kids to get into comedy? I, I told my son that. I told my uh, my, 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 my 21-year-old son. He's, he's, he's digging into the business, trying to do videos and stuff like that, and I'm like, I'd rather you go be a lawyer, man. You could be a doctor. Yeah. You could literally be a doctor because yeah. I wanted to be a comedian and I'm literally a comedian. Yeah. Like, you do know you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You don't have to get in this old dirty ass, piece of shit ass, stinking ass, people leaving comments. Man, you know what? Boy, <laughs> 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 y'all folks is so stupid, man. Them folks under that. <laughs> I'm talking to people in them comments. Yeah. Man. Them folk crazy, bro. Now look at them. There you go right there. Just look at them and tell I'm them. I'm looking at them, bro, but I ain't got nothing to say to them because they so pitiful. <laughs> they so pitiful. Like, they sitting up there where they look. Like, it's. You know how many people in them comments probably had herpes and shit? Like, they probably had a flare right there and leaving a comment on my page. Like, you know how many of them bitches had bacterial vaginosis leaving comments on my page? Like, like you know how, you know how many damn scammers commented on that, man? How many, how many niggas behind on child support? You know how many niggas that live with their baby mama, live with a bitch, commented yeah. on that page? Like, you, you... You, you, you fucking. What's the word I'm trying to look for? You, you, uh, you, you, lily, lily liver, <laughs> yellow belly. What's the word I'm looking for, man? I can't even find it. Uh. <laughs> well, now answer me this though, Doug. What about the young man that wants to get into the game that you can't stop him? That you can't stop him? He's saying, man, I'm about to get into this game. And I'm ready for the BS, but he don't know that it's BS. But he like, this is just what I want to do. I, I watch K Dub, and I want to do what K Dub does. Um, what do you tell that guy that's gonna do it regardless? What do they need to be looking out for? What do they need to prepare for getting into this game? Um, don't expect nothing. If you get nothing out of it, don't. If you get nothing out of it, don't be mad. Because it ain't nothing. Mm. Cause it ain't nothing. It ain't like you cured cancer. It ain't like you're doing rocket science. You're just either rapping or telling jokes or singing or something. You ain't gonna do anything that nobody else ain't done. So if you're getting in and being hype, then I I won't tell you to get in it, but I'll tell you don't be hype. Don't be don't be uh avid adamant. Don't be don't act like you're doing something new. Don't be running around telling me check out my mixtape. Or check out this joke because nobody cares because yeah. it ain't nothing. You could just have you some fun, 
Get in the game and have you some fun and be happy in whatever happens. Because ain't like I was call myself lucky, but I'm around the right people. Yeah. You know, tip, dro, yeah, nitty. Yeah. Uh, I, that's the people I'm around. My yeah. partner KBI and Decatur. Shout yeah. out to my partner Carlos Emmons. Yeah. Shout out to everybody around me that make me feel good about staying in the game. Because if I ain't have those people, I hear you. I will quit. It ain't the game that's holding me in the game. <laughs> it's the people around me that let me know it's all right. Yeah. Because look at Lucci. Lucci locked up. Yeah. Look at they was trying to tie a little baby up in that bullshit early yeah. on. It's it's a it's, look at Quan. Yeah, one of my favorite rappers, Rich Hobie Quan. Yeah, it's a lot of bullshit. My God. Oh, I ain't ain't like I'm quitting anytime, so I'm gonna die doing this shit. I'm gonna die doing this bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna die <laughs> dancing with the devil's ass. Oh. So hey, I advise anybody don't get in this game. Ask Diana Ross why you think she don't be wanting to be seen. And people always say he Hollywood. Niggas don't be Hollywood. This game ain't shit. In Hollywood, it's almost like, if, let's say tomorrow, somebody say I'm Hollywood. I don't know who to talk to after y'all bitches left all them comments. <laughs> I don't know who on my side. I did. I thought I knew before that. Yeah. But now I don't know. Shit. Now I'm not dealing with none of you bitches. Y'all going to say I'm Hollywood. Nigga going to be like, duh. I'm going to say, hey, 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 stand back, bro. Because I don't know if you one of them bitches that left them bullshit comments. I ain't see none. It just, I could tell it was a lot of you them. You can feel them. I could feel them because people was tagging me. And yeah. then I put my shit on restricted where you couldn't tag me. And then I took it right off. I left it on there for about an hour. <laughs> and I was like, nah. I need all this. Give it all to me. <laughs> Give it all I to me. I didn't read. Only ones I read was the one that was on my page. Yeah. Which wasn't many. Exactly. Ain't nobody coming to your doorstep. Yeah, like they weren't really coming on crazy. my page like that. They scared of me. Yeah. They really, they really scared of me. Yeah. They weren't really coming on the page like that. They were just on Shade Room and some people tagged me. Uh, Which I appreciate them, even if they were saying something bad. Yeah. That's why I said I'm not really, I was talking shit about them. I, I was more mad at the people that I know who didn't call me and say, yo, what happened? They was under there taking up for me, but not in the right way. Uh, they was under there blindly yeah, they taking up for me. A lot yeah. of people blindly. And I'm like, no, don't do that. They were like, man, Dub don't give a fuck about this shit. I'm like, yes, Dub, do. <laughs> yes, Dub, do give a fuck. They were like, man, Dub just like that. Nah, Dub ain't. <laughs> Dub ain't laughing at nobody's daughter, man. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Some girl were like, why you even say that? I couldn't. Shit, I was defending the slap. I was, I was, I was going up against the slap, nigga. I ain't finna say, I ain't said. I'm like, hey, you ain't gonna slap me. <laughs> but if anybody knew how funny Shawty was, Dro was, they wouldn't even be taking it so serious, though. Yeah. They wouldn't even, because I can't even take it serious. And, yeah. You know what I mean? We yeah. both grown. I'm 43 years old. Exactly. If a dumb ass nigga thinks somebody gonna slap me, they crazy. Yeah. And, and nobody gonna die. It's gonna be blood everywhere. Yeah. If somebody do something to me. And same thing with you. Yeah. If somebody slap you, you're gonna be blood everywhere. If somebody slap Dro, it's gonna be blood everywhere. Exactly. Somebody slap. But now you just saying that everybody's a man in the room. Yeah, you're gonna be blood everybody's everywhere. Everybody's a man in the room. Y'all bitches can wish what you want to. You can wish it, you raggedy bitches. You can wish it all you want to. But <laughs> if you ain't see no blood. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see some blood exactly. for anybody. I think any man you gonna see some blood. Yeah, I'm a, I, I'm ready to die if you slap. Me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like ready. I'm gonna get in that casket. I'm gonna go try it out and then come back and let you slap me. <laughs> I'm gonna go get in the casket and get mm, this motherfucker. Right? <laughs> What's y'all there? One thing slap me. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, mm, love you, love you, love you, love the hell out you, Joe, man, and, yeah. and I'm glad. That man, you straighten that shit out. And I ain't gonna even go back and forth. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about that. Love yeah. you to death, man. Love your music. And you're a great guy. And I hate what happened to you. And on air, I apologize for all this shit, even though, even though we already talked about it. Yeah. It's a real sincere apology to you. Cause I don't want nobody to be in that position where they gotta say they even if they thought it. Yeah. I don't want to put you in a position where you thought that I was being disrespectful yeah. to you. So, yeah. you know, that's apologies on that to him. Even yeah. though I already apologized to him. I want him to know that it, I want the world to know exactly. that I apologize to him because he apologized to me for the situation. Yeah, and he's a great guy for that. Yeah, stand up, motherfucker, man. Oh, y'all some stand up ass niggas over yeah, there. So man. that's why I can't nobody feel no type of way about the situation because nobody lost respect for nobody in that situation because you can obviously tell it was just some family shit going on that 
ain't your business. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's where I was at. I'm like, hell, family shit going on, but it's going on on camera this time. And those side tooth missing motherfuckers got on there and got on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> those side tooth missing, missing motherfuckers. motherfuckers got on there and left they bullshit ass <laughs> comment. Good way. Couldn't wait to write. One nigga wrote it out in and cursed it. I said, what the fuck are you getting cursed on Instagram? On the internet. On the internet, it wrote it out. <laughs> and then the K-Dub, you ain't shit. <laughs> oh, One man. nigga threw his daughter at me, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck you do with a baby? <laughs> man, it is what it is, man. But, Dub, how can these folks contact you, man? They tried to book you. They, they know how to contact the movement. me. They, okay. know how to, <laughs> they know how to find me. Go right on Shade Room. Spiritual world, shout out to y'all. Shout out to Spiritual World. I love y'all to death, yeah. man. They put they they posted it too, but they posted the apology. Oh, that's they posted right. everything. Spiritual yeah. world, shout out to y'all, man. And they put my name on that shade room and all the rest of the old bitches. Y'all some y'all them, them boy them some them some them some dog shit eating bastards, boy. You boy, <laughs> I want to know who run the shade room. I, Boy, I hope they cremate the shade room. The person oh. on the shade room, I hope they cremate your ass and you still living. That's just wrong. That's like, just I hope wrong, they dog. Cremate your ass from the legs on up. I hope it just be stinging in your toes and you feel it. You still alive. I'm a, I hope they put some <laughs> adrenaline in your heart. Pump some adrenaline in your heart so you can stay alive. Use a piece of shit for that. <laughs> but do your thing. But 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 go off. Y'all get down with the movement. Be high ready, yo. Shout in comedian K Dub in this thing. I'll let y'all in a minute, man. We gone. <laughs>